I've tried to fit a door lock before, and my DIY skills failed me spectacularly. <laughs> but this time around, seeing as my brother has already stuck a massive hole in the door, I would just swap the handles. How hard could that be? How hard could that be? How hard could that be? Thanks to Pine World for sponsoring today's video and sending me their Q106 smart door lock. Before we get into me screaming bloody murder at it, here's what it does. The Q106 is the first smart door lock that I have seen that has both IP65 waterproofing and the ability to be opened using a mechanical key. This smart lock has four different ways in which you can open it. As well as the traditional key, you can use your fingerprint, the Toya Smart Life app, or an eight digit passcode. It has automatic locking functionality, which can be turned on or off at any time, temporary passwords, periodic passwords, unlocking records, member management, and it's built like a brick shit house. Do our American friends know what a brick shit house is? It means you could club somebody to death with it. This lock is made with a high strength aluminium alloy and has a semiconducting. I bet the lock picking lawyer could open it in seconds. What? L lock picking lawyer. Seconds. Oh, yes. The lock picking lawyer with his flipping magnets. Ooh, magnets. Ooh, ooh magnets. Ooh. Magnets. Oh, the magnets! Yes, he probably can, because the lockpicking lawyer is some kind of genius and not an idiotic burglar. You see, a burglar, he might come up with one of these, but when he tries that and goes, that's not really working, he's probably just going to pick up a rock and put your window through, because he's a burglar. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When a burglar robs your house, he isn't sat there the night before around a table planning a heist, sat on a throne of magnets like some kind of weird Bond villain called Magnetron. Magnets. His name is Dave. He's a wanker in a van that goes round trying door handles and smashing windows. In all seriousness, whenever I've sent a smart lock, the first thing I do is check to see if the lock picking lawyer has featured it on his YouTube channel. Then I swipe my rare earth magnet around the thing and see if the mechanism will move. And if it doesn't, I feel I've done all I can in my limited capacity to figure out whether or not the lock is reasonably secure. Like I said, the burglar will just put your window through. They're not Ocean's Eleven. I haven't been able to fool the fingerprints scanner yet, and it works 100% of the time for both me and my missus. Seems to be very reliable. All fingerprints are stored on the device itself rather than the cloud, so you could take that tinfoil hat off your head. And the pen pad will store eight to 10 digit codes, whatever your preference is, and can store one-off passcodes if you wanted to just give a person access to your property very temporarily. Or you could set scheduled passwords so that you could regularly allow a cleaner into your building, for example. But enough about that. Here's me failing at DIY. Slipping. Oh. 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 Oh.
Stop slipping! What is the point? Son of a bitch! No. You've got to be joking. You can't be serious! Oh God! Get in there! You utter bastard! Why? Turn! Turn! Get in! Rage filled hatred. Oh! Come on! I can't straighten it up now. Oh, I just don't believe this. Look at that! It's totally on the piss, it won't go up. If I try and move it up, it just gets stuck. <coughs> Everything tastes of wood. There. Get in there! Wood everywhere. Oh, come on! Oh, you... You're not serious. It won't go in. It won't go in the strike point. It's too bloody long. Oh, God! You... I... Ah! a bit let down on this one because Pine World approached me for this review like this. Are you interested in reviewing a Toya Smart Life enabled waterproof smart lock with physical key backup? And I was like, oh, yes please. And then later on I'm like, why doesn't this work with my voice assistant? And they were like, we never said it was voice enabled, we just said it was smart. And then it worked with Toya Smart Life, which normally works with Amazon and Google. Surely, it was kind of implied when you gave a smart lock to a smart home channel and then told him it works with Toya Smart Life, a platform dedicated entirely to connecting third-party devices to Amazon and Google, but perhaps this might work with them. Sponsorship cancelled. Sponsorship cancelled. Sponsorship. And this is a massive shame, because this has everything I've ever wanted in a smart lock apart from those features. It's properly waterproof, it's got a mechanical key lock as a backup so you can actually use a set of keys, and it has a mode to actually keep the door unlocked for periods of time if you want it to, which most of them don't. This has everything I've ever wanted except for voice control. If you add a Toya Smart Life Bluetooth gateway to the mix, then you can actually trigger Toya Smart Life routines using the door handle. This means that if you've got Toya Smart Life light bulbs, you can have them turn on automatically when you unlock the door, but only if the sun has gone down, which is mental. This is the first smart lock that I've seen that has an always unlocked mode that you can set directly from the pin pad using a shortcut key. Always open mode. Be careful for security. Which is awesome, because it means if your kids are going in and out of the house and you just want to leave the door unlocked for them, you can do that there directly on the pin pad. The even cleverer thing is that if you forget you've done that, the next time you press the keypad, it warns you that that mode is still enabled. Always open mode. Be careful for security. Whilst that mode is enabled, you can manually lock the door. So you can lock the door from the inside or the outside if you wanted it manually locked during that time. It's IP65 waterproof, which means that it will never die. I promise I will never die. The automatic locking function, when it is engaged, detects when the door is closed before firing out the bolt. I don't know how it does this, but it's exceptionally clever. The mechanical keys are a nice touch for cave people. Um, the pin pad is great for letting in visitors and cleaners and those sorts of things, particularly if you were using this for a small office. And I think there is an awful lot to like about this lock overall. So what are the negative things? Every time you unlock the door, every time, she will say, Already unlocked. And to begin with, you're kind of like, Already unlocked. What do you mean already unlocked? I just unlocked you. 
and then later on you're like... Already unlocked. Not already unlocked. Just unlocked it. And after the hundredth time, you're like... Already unlocked. Liar! Thankfully, you can just turn the voice off. But unfortunately, the voice is kind of useful. You need that voice for when you've accidentally forgotten that you've left on the always open mode. If you press the keypad and it doesn't warn you of that, then you're gonna forget and at some point you're gonna forget to lock the door because you've got used to it locking itself. The voice is kind of a necessary evil. And boy is it evil. It can't take rechargeable batteries, which I find super annoying. Is it alive? Doesn't seem very alive. I've spoken to Pineworld about this and they say it's a voltage thing. They say that four rechargeable batteries will not kick out enough volts to keep this thing powered. But I've also been told that the batteries should last up to eight months if the door is unlocked 10 times a day, which is pretty reasonable. If I was allowed to put a smart lock on the outside of my house, this is the one that I would choose. But unfortunately, Nisha keeps saying, The insurance companies won't pay out if we have a break-in. And she might be right. Insurance companies are scum. I don't know the answer to this one, to be 100% certain. If you know, just let me know in the comments. Perhaps you work in this industry, or you have personal experience of this. All available Googling suggests that Insurance companies actually prefer you to have smart home equipment surveilling your property, and it seemed to suggest that they might prefer smart locks too. I couldn't find a clear answer. It's probably intentionally vague, because... CORPORATE GREED! If you know the answer to whether insurance companies are happy for you to put a smart lock on your door, let me know in the comments. Despite the lack of voice support, I would still choose this lock over the competition. I did do a review previously of a really awesome lock that did have she that should not be named support, but guess what? I never used it for that. I would much rather have had the IP65 waterproof rating so I could have put it outside, my missus had let me, and also have the mechanical keys as a backup because it didn't have the mechanical key backup in that previous lock. I actually really like this lock. My lack of DIY skills are not Pine World's fault. And I don't think I really need the she that should not be named functionality because it locks itself when it closes. I mean, how much more automated do you want it to be? So if it can lock itself when you're leaving and you only have to give it your thumbprint to open it, I think it's all I really need and I really like it. They've said that the smart home functionality is just around the corner. I've heard that before though, so I'm gonna update the description as and when that happens. Go check there if you're interested in this lock and specifically interested in that functionality, because when it comes, I'm going to update the video to that effect. In the meantime, if you're the sort of person that has a keyless entry to get into your car, but then gets his keys out of his pocket to open his house, what are you doing with your life? Buy this lock. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon. Without them, this channel wouldn't exist. I wouldn't still be doing this. They are everything. Without them, this doesn't happen. If you want to be one of those awesome people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I'll flipping well love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. And my DIY skills failed me spectacularly. So spectacularly. <laughs> and my DIY skills failed me spectacularly. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? DIY skills failed me spectacularly. Well, <laughs> it's not the same thing, bitch. <laughs>